At the dawn of time, there was nothing but chaos. This primordial void was called Koto Amatsukami, a realm devoid of form and order. From this chaotic mass emerged the first gods, the Amatsukami, who brought light and order to the universe. Among these primordial deities were Aimono Minakanushi, Takami Musubi, and Kami Musubi. These divine spirits created the heavens and the earth, setting the stage for the birth of countless other gods and beings. Recognizing the emptiness of the world they had created, the Amatsukami decided to give rise to two new deities, Izanagi, he who invites, and Izanami, she who invites. This divine couple was tasked with populating the barren earth and bringing forth all forms of life, the divine mission. The celestial beings handed Izanagi and Izanami a divine spear called Amenonuhoko, adorned with precious jewels and imbued with remarkable powers. With this spear, they stood on the floating bridge of heaven, known as Ame no Ukihashi, and stirred the chaotic waters below. As they lifted the spear, droplets fell from its tip, forming the first island, Onogoro. Izanagi and Izanami descended to this sacred island, and under the utmost harmony, they fell deeply in love. To consummate their union and generate noble offspring, Izanami proposed to her husband. However, from this union were born deformed creatures, as the ritual was flawed. It was not the female deity's role to propose. Determined to succeed, they united again, this time with Izanagi taking the initiative. From their proper union sprang a new generation of gods, as well as the islands of the Japanese archipelago, thus filling the world with beauty and life. Tragedy and descent to Yomi. Their bliss was short-lived. Izanami, pregnant once more, experienced grave complications while giving birth to Kagutsuchi, the god of fire. The flames consumed her, causing her demise. Stricken with grief, Izanagi watched as his beloved departed for Yomi, the land of the dead. Refusing to accept this fate, Izanagi ventured into the dark and impure realm of Yomi to retrieve Izanami. The underworld was a place of corruption, filled with oni, demons, and other vile creatures. Despite the foreboding environment, Izanagi pressed on, guided by his love. In the darkness, he found Izanami, but to his horror, she had succumbed to decay and rot, having consumed the food of Yomi. Her divine purity was destroyed, and her bond with the underworld became unbreakable. Horrified by her state, Izanagi repudiated her, prompting a furious Izanami to unleash monsters to pursue him. Izanagi fled, blocking the exit of the underworld with a massive boulder, trapping Izanami forever in Yomi. This act marked the permanent separation of life and death, purification and the birth of noble deities. The journey to Yomi left Izanagi feeling tainted. He sought to cleanse himself through a ritualistic bath, which resulted in the birth of several significant deities. As he washed his left eye, the radiant Amaterasu, goddess of the sun, emerged, illuminating everything around her. From his right eye, Tsukuyomi, god of the moon, was born, shining with a serene luminosity. Finally, as he cleansed his nose, the tempestuous Susanu, god of storms in the sea, appeared. Izanagi, proud of these three noble children, called them the three precious children and entrusted them with governing different aspects of the world. Amaterasu was given the heavens, Tsukuyomi the night and the tides, and Susanu the seas and storms. Harmony Disrupted Amaterasu and Tsukuyomi were close, often seen together in the skies, creating an era where day and night were indistinguishable. However, their harmony was shattered during a fateful banquet. Amaterasu, unable to attend a feast hosted by Ukamochi, goddess of food, sent Tsukuyomi in her place. Tsukuyomi witnessed the goddess creating food in a grotesque manner. She vomited rice, excreted vegetables, and milk flowed from her nostrils. Disgusted, Tsukuyomi killed Ukamochi in a fit of rage. Amaterasu was furious upon learning of her brother's actions and banished him to the other side of the world. 
This separation created the cycle of day and night as Amaterasu and Tsukuyomi could no longer coexist. The rebellious Susanu. Susanu, the storm god, grew envious of Amaterasu's supreme position. He caused chaos, drying rivers and withering vegetation, disrupting the harmony of the world. Izanagi, seeing the havoc his son was wreaking, confronted Susanu. In a fit of rage, Susanu declared his intention to leave the world of the living and join his mother in the underworld. Izanagi, enraged by his son's desire to reside in the unclean underworld, banished Susanu. Before leaving, Susanu sought to bid farewell to his sister, Amaterasu. Amaterasu, anticipating trouble, prepared for battle. 